Blog Talk Radio. Listen to us, because we listen to you. All is now being recorded. All right, this is Andrew Wilson Williams on Samuel Brock Flynn's show. So how are you this evening, Andrew? I'm doing well, man. I'm just, you know, hanging out with my friends and, um, you know, just uh, having a good time. How about you? How are you? Uh, good. Very very well. Uh, very well. Um, I was going to talk about more uh, about science stars. Um, what what do you think about uh, how, how did you like playing the character um, in there? How, how did you like the um, production and stuff? Well, it was a great production. We uh, we shot it in a uh, converted area, like downstairs in this YMCA's uh, underground area. They converted it into a green screen type, um, almost like a like a pilot, uh, like a command center, if you will, and we wired it up, and it's just, it was really cool, and it was a lot of fun, I met a lot of really cool people, and we're promoting a great message, you know, spreading science through the media, and it's it's great. And, and I'm assuming it's for kids to, uh, it's like a learning kind of uh, video? Or... Um, It's pretty much for everybody. Uh, we deal with real themes on the show, like drama, uh, death, uh, separation, um you know, the things that your usual educational show wouldn't really do. So we're something of like an educational show with a twist. Yeah, that that's that's what I had thought too because um I, I got I kinda got that idea. Um they're using this as a as an edu- educational thing. I uh watched the trailer. It looks uh very, very realistic. I want to say the crew and everybody did a great job, I'm sure. And uh I know it seemed to be hard um, to do, but yeah, I, I can see where it would be, but but it's just um, probably took a lot and lots of uh, what what's the box office on the film, if if you don't mind me asking. Oh no, Science Stars is a, is a television show. Oh okay, so there's really no box office to it. Not necessarily. Uh, we're we're just trying to get it out there, maybe get it in the school systems, um, have a TV network pick it up, you know, whoever will take it. Oh, okay. Um, have you guys been on TV already? Yeah? Uh, no. I, I thought not, because uh, I know that uh, I haven't seen it here lately. And we did some TV interviews with some local news stations, me and my co-star Isabella Alberti, and that was pretty much it. Was it... Uh, was it uh, Fox 10? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Fox 10 TV, something other. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you don't they did mind a really good asking, job. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. If you don't mind me asking about the previous jobs you did, uh, you did in Gramps Shoes, and uh, how how did you like playing in Gramps in Gramp Shoes? As um, oh, what was your character's name? <laughs> My character's name was Scott Douglas. He's just kind of this regular kid who got separated from um, his uh, his father due to a lot of familial problems, and he um, just tries to overcome all of his differences and make himself a better person. Right, right. Uh, I actually liked that movie. I I really liked it. Um, it showed a diff- it show it makes a diff makes a I guess you would say a difference. Um, out there, and it make and two, it, it shows how um, how broken home, or how bad the uh, some people are in um, homes that are terrible. You know, it kind of shows the thing of uh, I guess you'd say beaten evolution or beaten the uh, unbelief or of God when you when there's actually um things out there that actually prove that God is real. You know, there's some people that um don't realize that God is real, you know. Well I okay, well I mean there there is a movie by Donald James Parker that is about uh 
the yeah. uh, evolution topic. But um, the Stingram yeah. shoes is basically just about overcoming adversity and just taking, you know, a step inside in, in Graham's shoes, essentially, and walking around in his shoes for a little bit and seeing what life is like for him and how, yeah, you're right, that uh, other people deal with these things and you never know who they might be. Yeah, I mean, the the thing is, too, I mean, people that don't believe in God, they usually um, aren't in great health either. And, you know, and they don't, uh, they don't believe and they don't think that we should. Um, they, well, they, I a lot of my um, belief on, on keeping their body up to date. And, and well, a lot of my um, a lot of my movies uh, deal with the theme of uh, overcoming adversity. I love taking on those characters and really no, showing but, how ordinary people, just like you and me, can be faced with these extraordinary um, events and problems that occur in their lives out of their hands and how they deal with that. And how it makes them a better person in the end. Yeah, it's to make a, it's to, ma- it's actually to show how people can make better themselves in a way. I guess you would, would you would, would you say it that way? Better themselves. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I I hope everybody from all my projects takes some sort of uh, uplifting message from it. From right. all of my projects, like Grim Reapers, and uh, Season of Miracles, and Science what? Stars. If you don't mind me asking, um, what is Grim Reapers about? Grim Reapers is about a boy who gets separated from his father while they're out at this house, and he's all alone on his own, and he has to fight things that may or may not be supernatural, and that's kind of the cool part of it. It's a horror movie, and it's okay. kind of like a surrealist horror movie rather than like a gory horror movie, and it's right. a film by Cade Saint. Uh, we're premiering it uh, down actually where I live in Mobile, and um, it was shot in North Alabama, and it's just a lot of fun, you know? It's kind of like the um, logical thinking on a horror movie. It's kind of like a logical... Sure, yeah, with with a little bit of psychological uh, terror, if you will, in it. Yeah. It's cool. Check it yeah, out. I, I like scary movies myself, but uh, I don't watch a lot of them. There's some of them that people don't need to see, and there's some that people can see it's not that bad but yeah i like scary movies too <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think i there's some of them that's like um yeah he watched scary movies he must not be a christian you know there's some people out there like that no 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 maybe they've got the thing you can well i think it doesn't matter really who you are you can enjoy all forms of media you know yeah. all, all all film and music is art and you know it's up for interpretation yeah, it is art. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I, I got. I have art class. I take art classes as well. Um, yeah, they they do consider uh, not just the picture media, but the video or motion media is also considered art. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't. We haven't learned about the motion or media art yet, but. We have learned the picture and the paintings and uh, pastels and whatever you want to call them. Uh, that is art, but it, it's just, um, they, I guess they're not teaching us yet, the media. I think they're so. But yeah, anyways. Um, yeah. Did you have any more questions about Grim Reapers or anything like that? Um, when will it be in theaters? We're not sure. We're pitching into all sorts of independent film festivals and hoping to see where we go with it. Oh, what what production company is it from exactly? Uh, Dark Room Productions. It was shot, uh, film produced, directed, and written by Kate Saint, a virtuoso. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say, oh, Season of Miracles. Uh, that's another one I'd like to talk about. Um. You you played as a um, baseball player, or is, is that right, or or no? Um, yeah, I, I played as a, a baseball uh, player named Zach, who befriends this autistic boy. And like I said, it's another story about overcoming obstacles and things just kind of happening in your life, and how you can't really control those things, and how you must learn to cope and move on rather than lay down and die. I've seen a little bit of violence there uh, in the movie, and I, I, I was thinking. Um, well, uh, yeah, that definitely goes on in schools uh, about the 
people picking, nitpicking at each other and things. I, I wouldn't say too bad. Uh, not not really as uh, vicious as the character in the movie is. He's a little uh, a little. Um, he is very vicious, and you know. But it, it, the really important part to take away from that is how you know people have those things happen. Like they have people bully them, and how we are the ones to you know stop stop those types of people and to help the people who can't be helped. You know, help the friendless and the needy. Yeah, I, usually I just defend myself. I don't believe in a third party getting into a two people problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe. Well, that's in that. good. Because it, it it creates a bigger problem. You know, you, you see what I'm saying? It's like a it's like a math equation. You get to this problem, that problem, and then it gets into a, a bigger and bigger problems as you go, and then uh, it harder to then it's more harder to solve. Pretty much. Yeah. At a school, you know. Cause yeah, sure. Because they blame you, and then you get, and then the other. Well, person. yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, I agree. Uh, do you have any more questions about Season of Miracles or anything like that? Um, yeah, uh, I know that, uh, John Snyder had played in it, um, the, the, uh, listen to us, cause we listen to you! Listen to us, because we listen to you.